from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Fenny. Greg D has your full weather forecast coming up, but first here are your ABC Action News headlines. It is Black Friday and Christmas shopping is now officially underway. Amazon workers plan to strike today at company locations around the world. A coalition of workers and activists called Make Amazon Pay made a list of 25 demands. Those include higher wages and extending sick leave. The company responded by saying the company is not perfect in any area, but defended Amazon's competitive wages and benefits. The St. Pete Police Department is sharing reminders that will help you prevent you from becoming a victim of thieves. They say the keys are to stay alert while you're shopping and stay in well lit areas as well. Also, don't leave valuables in plain sight in your car. Put them in your trunk and lock the car. Also, don't try to carry too many bags or boxes at once. That can make you a target. And if you carry a lot of cash, make sure not to flash it around. According to creditcards.com, 80% of Americans are starting off the holiday shopping season in debt. They say four out of 10 holiday shoppers are willing to go into debt in a hot holiday spending. Nearly half say they do it to make themselves or others happy. I actually fear that the real number may be much higher than that. One way to look at it is that according to the American Bankers Association, 54% of active credit card accounts already carry debt from month to month. And that's actually an improvement. With supply chain issues affecting the costs of many goods, Rossman thinks that a lot of consumers are going to be caught by surprise this holiday season. His advice, celebrate the holidays without adding to your credit card debt and stick to a budget. Well, here's something fun to check out this weekend. People are starting to drive through the Tampa Bay Festival of Lights at the Hillsborough County Fairgrounds in Dover. Our cameras were there last night for its opening. You can drive through two miles worth of lights and decor, and then you can walk over to Santa's Village and even snap a photo with him. Tickets are $25 per car, and you can buy them on the fairgrounds website. And several other holiday events are opening today. That includes holiday lights in the gardens at the Florida Botanical Gardens and the Enchant Christmas Light Maze at the Trop. Plus, Zoo Tampa will have its Christmas in the Wild event. A lot of fun times, but will it feel good outside? That's the question, Greg. Uh, depends on what that good, what you mean by good, Sarah, because uh, if you're in the mood for some chilly weather to kind of uh, set the scene for these holiday lights, and I've got a lot of that coming as we head into the weekend. 77 today, that's near where we should be. That temperature, though, falling quickly during the afternoon as the winds pick up, and those winds will bring in cooler weather just in the upper 60s on Saturday, near 70 on Sunday, but the mornings and evenings will be in the 40s and 50s both Saturday, Saturday night and into Sunday morning. So if you are heading to some of those holiday light displays, you'll definitely need a thicker jacket. That front moves by with a couple of showers potentially too, though most of these should be gone by the overnight. I've got your complete forecast posted in the ABC Action News app. Sarah? All right, thanks, Greg. You can now get news 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire, Android and Apple TV. Have a wonderful day.